Hello members of the Wyoming State Legislature. My name is Joseph Shumway and I'm a dairy farmer over here in Star Valley on the western side of the state. And I wanted to just take a few minutes of your time to share with you uh, some thoughts about House Bill 56, also known as the Wyoming Food Freedom Act. Um, and to ask for your support as this bill uh, moves through the legislative process. Um, my family's been here in Star Valley for about 135 years. We've been dairy farmers the whole time. Uh, I'm actually a sixth generation dairyman and run the farm here with my dad. And we're really excited about House Bill 56 and the opportunities that uh, it would provide us as small dairymen to be able to uh, expand and to grow our business to uh, more of a direct consumer base. Um, I understand that there's been some concerns uh, expressed about you know the sale and consumption of raw milk and, and that's one of the key things that the bill would allow us to do. And so I wanted to just take a few minutes to maybe share some of my thoughts and address some of those concerns uh, from, the, the, from the perspective of an actual dairy producer who gets in the barn every day and milks the cow. We have seen a dramatic increase here locally uh, for us from consumers that are interested in purchasing raw milk. Um, this is a very uh, niche uh, consumer base. These are people that are quite informed and educated and are very interested in consuming and purchasing uh, all natural products. Um, they, they want holistic or, or, and organic foods, and which is why they're very interested in raw milk. And one of the ways that the law does make room for consumers to have access to raw milk is through uh, the auspices of a cow share program, um, which we do operate here on our, on our dairy. And it's been a good way for us to service some of the market and to help bolster our bottom line a little bit more. But we actually found that there's a lot of limitations uh, in allowing us to really get out there and to meet the demand that, that we find is growing. Um, a lot of would-be consumers don't find that the cow share program really meets their needs. They want more flexibility. Uh, they want a gallon here, two gallons there, uh, rather than being committed to a certain fee and a certain amount of milk each week. Which if you're operating a, a true cow share program, that's how it works. A lot of people are becoming interested because there uh, have, been, have been so many proven uh, health benefits that have been uh, noted in a few notable studies that have come out over the last few years. Um, raw milk in its natural state is actually quite healthy. It has a lot of good bacteria and enzymes that strengthen and help support the digestive, respiratory, and immune systems. Um, and that's why people are becoming so interested in it. But what can happen is if milk is not handled properly, it is true that it can pick up other bacteria that could cause uh, potential illnesses. And so that's where a lot of concern that people have uh, kind of stem from. Um, I think the number that I saw our State Department of Health come out with was that there's about eight reported cases uh, per year uh, of illnesses that were caused or linked to the consumption of raw milk. So it's a very small number and quite clearly it's the exception not the rule. And I think that's one of the misconceptions people have is that they think that it's the rule that if you do consume raw milk you will get sick. And that's really not the case. Like I said it's a pretty small chance and as a dairyman who knows how to produce good milk, I, I know that you have to actually be pretty careless with the way you handle the milk to affect it in such a way that it's going to make uh, someone sick. Here on our dairy, we're a grade A dairy, and so we operate with all of the, the proper equipment and cleaning methods. Um, the majority of our milk actually does go to a creamery, so our cow share program is just kind of a, a small portion of our production, but with the growing demand, we see a real opportunity for us to be able to uh, service that and to bolster our business's bottom line and to uh, better uh, navigate uh, through the volatility of the milk market that, that uh, dairymen have to face if they're directly selling their milk to uh, a middleman creamery or something like that. And this is one of the reasons that we're really excited about it. Again, I think that it's important to understand that the people that we see interested in raw milk are very informed and educated and a lot of people across the state you know, they get it through, uh, if they're not getting it through a cow share program, they're probably getting it under the table. Or, like in our, our situation over on the western side of the state, people can go to Idaho or Utah and get it directly. Um, right now, there's actually 26 states that allow for the, uh, a, a, some form of direct sale of raw milk, whether it's retail or, um, you know, on a farmer's market, uh, farm base, which House Bill 56 would be. Um, and so, there's a growing number of states that are finding that this is working. Um, and consumers are interested and want the demand is there. And so I would love to see Wyoming join that number of states. I would uh, like to thank you for taking time to uh, 
to watch this um, and to please ask for your support in voting yes for House Bill 56 as it moves through the legislative process. This would be a huge benefit to small, uh, small farmers and ranchers uh, like myself across the state. Um, and as you well know, agriculture is one of the pillars of our Wyoming state economy. And this will only expand and help um, small producers be able to grow their businesses and to, uh, to, to make a stronger uh, lifestyle for themselves doing a work that they love doing and, and can do well. And we need to help support uh, our, our small farmers and ranchers, and this is one way that, that that can be done. So again, thank you for your time. Please support House Bill 56, and thank you for your service in the legislature. And God bless.